The man accused of killing two women in Tallahassee about a year ago will spend the rest of his life in prison. Philip Ford pleaded no contest to two first degree murder charges this morning. ABC 27's Jada Williams was in the courtroom today. Jada, what was the moment like for the victim's family and friends? Well, between the many tears in that courtroom, many of those victims, family and friends stood up to tell Philip Ford to his face just how much they took from him and what he took well, how much he took from them and what he took from the world. And they say that this is just one step towards healing for the future. I'm kind of it's almost like being numbed. That's how Charity Richard walked away feeling after hearing the words she waited more than a year to hear. Required to serve a sentence of uh, life in the uh, Department of Corrections. In court Friday, Philip Ford pleaded no contest to two counts of first degree murder. Richard sat in that courtroom seeking justice for her daughter, Alexandria. It's time to move forward, you know, and go on and take care of business. Ford is accused of killing Alexandria Richard and Shauna S. Williams in December of 2018 and January of 2019. Tallahassee police say Ford admitted to having sex with the victims and was known to pay for sex. Ford has a history of violent crimes. He served prison sentences for two violent sexual offenses involving a child under 12 and was arrested for hitting his girlfriend and attempting to strangle her. When someone is a sex buyer, what, they're, what, what they expect uh, in that interaction um, is that they're free to do whatever they want without consequences and without regard to the humanity of the person that they're, uh, that, that, that they're interacting with. Meg Baldwin says women involved in sex work are the most likely to be killed because they're typically not looked at as worthy. But Richard's mother says her daughter was the most loving person she knows. She loved her kids. Um, she made sure that they were in places where they could receive that love. Now that Ford's sentencing is over, Richard's mission is to remind her grandkids of the type of person their mother truly was. The Refuge House does have a hotline that you can call if you are going through any type of violence. Now, they also offer services for someone who is in need of help. You can find all of that information on WTXL.TV. And as for Ford, he will also have to submit more DNA, and the uh, Florida Department of Law Enforcement will run that to see if it matches for any other unsolved crimes. Reporting live from the Refuge House, Jada Williams, ABC 27. Thank you, Jada.